Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a stiff flow using Elementor 5 Free. So if you have a WordPress website with Elementor and you want to display a stiff flow or your fast strips, you can do it easily by watching this video. And basically we have used this plugin before in our video in which we made this static result. And today let's see how we can make a stiff flow. So before making that, let me show you a quick demo of that. So this is the demo one. As you can see, we have step one, step two, step three. We have icons and title and description which change colors and hour and obviously you can change the icons and the hour effects and colors let's move to the next one we have step 1, step 2 and step 3 with images and arrows as you can see the hour animations also then we have this one you can see 1, 2, 3 in this shape with icons and boxes this is the fourth one which have number 1, number 2 and these numbers and this look then we have demo 5 with these animations and this shape arrows and strips this is demo 6 with these hour effects and arrows this is demo 7 with 1 2 3 inside this is demo 8 with process 1 process 2 process 3 and animations and color effects and so on so you can design any of these and you can use these and you can customize these based on your needs. Now let me show you how we can make these. Now here I am in my WordPress dashboard. The first thing you need is obviously Elementor. And then you will need to install another plugin. So just go to plugins, click add new. And here search for element pack light. And you will see this plugin element pack elementor add-ons. So this have header and footer, free elementor, templates library and so on. Just install and activate this. Once you activate the plugin, this will take you to its dashboard where you can see all its widgets, core widgets, third party and active. And you can activate and deactivate the add-ons that you need. So for that you can go to core widgets. And here you can enable and disable things. You can notice all the widgets that are available. The one we are going to use is step flow. So for that you can just search for step flow. And make sure you enable this. So just click here to enable this. And now you can use this inside your Elementor. And then click on save changes. And set in saved. Now let's see how we can use this. So for that we will add a new page. You can use any of your pages. Let's close this and I'll call this step low. And we'll edit this with Elementor. Now to avoid these things let's change its settings to Elementor canvas. Now we have a blank page where we can start designing our strip flow. Let's close the navigator also. And let's search for strip flow. You will see this with this E logo. Just drag this over here. And this will instantly give you a strip flow. As you can see we have strip 1 with icon, the title and description. And to make changes to these you can use this panel. Like you can change the icon type to an image or you can use an icon. Then you can choose your icon here to something else like this and here you can change the title to something like this and here you can change the description which is this one. You can also link this to a specific page so for that you can turn on this on and you can write your URL here and then this will be linked. Let's close this for now. And here you can decide the tag for this title. So this is H3 which is fine. You can change the alignment to center, left or right as you can see here. And you can also add a separator here. So for that you can turn this on. And you can notice the separator here. Then you can style this separator in the style tab which I'll show you later. These are the directions. So basically this arrow show direction. You can turn this on or off and we have a read more so if you enable this you will see a read more button here that you can link to a specific page or something and this is process page which is this step one so obviously we need this and this is a global link if you enable this then this whole thing will be linked like everywhere you click this will link to a page or something that you write here Okay, this is read more. So if you want to change the text here, you can just 
change it over here like learn more and then you can change its link you can also enable and click and you can call a function here and you can also add an icon to this learn more you can click on this you can search for arrow or something let's say i want to use this one i'll insert this and now i can see an icon here you can change its position to the left side or keep it on the right this is icon spacing and so on and show on hour so if you want to display this learn more only on hour you can enable this now you can see there is no read mode but if i hover mouse here you can see the learn more button so this is what it does then we have this page so here you can do settings for this step one so you can write something like step three you can see the changes and this is the top center you can change its position to any of these you can also change the offset which will change its position like this but we don't need this and this is a refer link this is also another feature by this plugin using which you can link a whole column section row or something to a specific page or a link so this was process tip you can go to style tip and you can do more settings by the icon and image scroll down here you can change the title color the title typography the title color on hour and so on you can change the description color and typography and this is a title separator you can change this to line circles or something you can see we have circles now you can change its width and these are the line caves so you can choose square rounded or uh, this one and these are strokes divider cave so basically this is the styling for this divider you can check all of these options i'm not going in much details just to make the video short then here you can style the read more button so here you can turn on attention you can change the color the background color and so on these are dependent on you that how you want the learn more button then we have direction so this is the styling for this arrow you can enable hover animation now you can see the hover animation and this is infinite animation so if you enable this this will keep rotating like this and you can change its style to something like style 2, style 3 now you can see the difference then we have badge so again here you can style the badge which is this step 3 you can change its color, background, border and so on you can go to additional settings and here you can give this content some padding if I choose something like 33 you can notice the spacing around it now to make more steps let's go to its content and we'll go to step we'll change it back to one and now you can just duplicate this column like this and here you can click this and you can go to its badge you can change this to step two and change this one to step three and also you can change the title or image for this let's choose image for this one okay we don't have an image so let's upload one let's use this one and now you can see the image here instead of the icon you can click here you can change its icon to this one or any of these so now we have a step flow which showing step one step two and step three with our own content again you can change the title and description based on your need and if you want you can click on this and you can give this some padding to the top and bottom and you can change its background color also then you can click on the step flow you can go to its style and here you can change its background to white okay this is only for the image we can go to advanced then go to background and let's choose white you can also give this some border radius like 10 now we have this and now you can just copy it style and face style on these 
So this was how you can make a stiff flow or frosty strips inside Elementor for free. Again, there are multiple demos available that you can use and you can import and then you can customize. So I hope the video will help you. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.